Welcome back to TC Outdoors. Today I'm going to show you how to take care of your kayak trailer. Make sure that it lasts for years to come. Stay tuned. All right, thank you for tuning in. If you're new here, my name's Tim, and my channel is all about kayak fishing here in the Midwest. So definitely uh, subscribe if that's something that you're into. Um, and for you returning people, thank you very much. I appreciate it a lot. So as stated, I'm gonna show you how to maintain your trailer. Um, it is something that is really simple. Uh, shouldn't take you more than an hour, two hours if it's your first time, but definitely will give you the peace of mind knowing that everything on the trailer is good to go and you can focus on where you're gonna go fish, um, how you're gonna fish, and all that stuff. So basically trailers are very simple. Um, don't overthink it. It's not rocket science. It's not like rebuilding the engine on your truck. Really simple. Um, there's really three things that you wanna check and keep an eye on uh, over the life of the trailer. Number one is going to be bearings. Um, those are probably the most crucial part of the trailer. Is something that if you do not grease them they will fail and you will be sitting on the side of the road so I cannot stress that enough number one trailers grease anything that has a grease cert or takes grease or uses grease grease it and grease it often number two the tires um, is something same thing on your car or your truck um, just maintain the proper air pressure as something before you go out every time check it make sure it's good before you head out on the road because um, the last thing you want to do is be heading to your favorite fishing spot, blow a tire, and now you're spending an hour, hour and a half on the side of the road fixing your trailer and missing the bite. So definitely keep that in mind as well. And the last one is the lights. Um, the trailer lights, again, everything with the trailer is very simple. Um, check those out periodically. Make sure that they're working left, right, brakes. That way the drivers behind you, they know what you're doing so that they're not crashing into your trailer, your kayak, and ruining your entire week, month, or year. So um, again, trailer wiring is very simple. There's a power and a ground. That's it. Um, so with that, I'm gonna throw on the chest mount. I'll start diving into kind of what I do to check out the, um, check out my trailer every year. All right, so I hope you guys can hear me all right. So, this is a trailer tire. Um, number one, you wanna make sure that your lug nuts are tight and um, that your bearings have grease. Today we're going to be um, disassembling it and regreasing it, so I'm not too worried about that. But um, when you, throughout the year, um, there is one easy way to check to make sure that your bearings are good and properly greased, and that is to grab the tire and shake it. So you see how this has incredible amount of play. I don't know if you can actually see it, but this trailer should not be on the road. I don't know. I've actually made it a month like this. I do not recommend it, but this is terrible. And you kind of covered a little bit more. This is a bearing. So this, you got your spindle here. This spins around. This spins around and this makes the whole thing happen. You see here, these without grease, it's just metal running on metal, and that's not good. All right, first we're gonna start by jacking it up. Now you don't need to go crazy high, just enough so that the wheel comes off the ground. And I always recommend a jack stand, just in case. So there, 
there's two ways that you can do this. The easiest way is going to be to just knock this cap off. Like so. Let me clean this up a little bit. So the easiest way to get this cleaned up a little bit. I'm not going to lie, this will be messy. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a collar pin right here, and it's bent. What you need to do is straighten that out so that you can pull it out. Now you do want to be semi careful with this because you will reuse it unless you go get a new one. But comes out there, and then you just loosen up. That's fine if this thing's finger tight. It should be finger tight. Usually towards the end it gets a little sticky, which is total, totally normal. Alright, so this will be your castle nut. Set that aside. Then, there it comes. We have a washer. And then your front bearing. You just gotta watch out for those, and then the whole tire should come off. But my fenders are too low, so I gotta fight it a little bit. Um, you can also remove the tire and then remove the hub, same thing. But the easiest way is to leave everything, leave the tire on. Just gives you a little bit more room, or um, it just makes it easier. I mean, you don't have to take the tire off. <laughs> And then, you know what you have left? It's just your spindle. Alright, so, get everything set up here. Now, when you take everything apart, keep it in the order that you're pulling off. So, this will be the front. So, like I said first, took off the cotter pin, then the castle nut. Then the washer and then the front bearing keep that separate because usually um, the rear bearing and the front bearing they're going to be different sizes so you want to make sure that you're keeping it in order so now when i take apart the back i'll put the the rear seal and the rear bearing here that way everything is 
organized and I'm not interchanging parts because that will be bad. <clears throat> Alright, so this is what the this is gonna be the back of the tire. This is what it's gonna look like. Now it's kind of dirty, but right here, this is called the rear seal. And this you'll more than likely need to replace. You can go to Northern Tool or Amazon or Auto Parts Store um, and you should be able to find a replacement seal. This one's shot, so uh, I would need a new one. Um, when you do go to get a new one, you will need to know your, um, number one, your axle size will help. You also want to know the outside diameter as well as the inside di diameter or the diameter of your spindle. Um, based on what size axle you're running, it will be, um, they are, there's going to be a, a lot of choices for them, so make sure you know that information. Um, easiest way is to pull the part, grab the seal, clean it off, and go to the store and pick one up. Um, but if you do know your axle size and your spindle size, you can um, order one if need be. To remove this, this rear seal is very simple. You can go out and buy a seal puller or a claw hammer will work or I like to use this little um, crowbar for pulling nails in carpentry. So basically inside here you have your rear bearing. You want to get between that and the end of this and the seal and just pry up. It should pop out just like that. Some of them are going to be a little harder than others but it's eventually this is what you're looking for. Put that here. And then on the back we have our rear bearing. Clean it off. There. So we have this is our front front of the tire, front bearing set. This is the rear. Rear is pretty simple. You have your rear seal and your rear bearing. All right, so um, after you remove everything, you want to get everything cleaned up really well. You want to get rid of all the old grease and get um, basically get it cleaned off and ready to go. Um, here's what kind of it looks like. So we got our rear bearings, our front stuff, everything's cleaned off. You'll need, this is a spindle, and you'll need to clean that off. Basically, you want to remove all the grease from inside the hub, from the bearings, from the spindle. You want to get rid of all that grease, because if you go through all the work of taking everything apart, re-greasing it, and putting it back together with the old grease still on there, it will just make everything um, degrade faster, and basically you'll have to do it again in another couple months. So remember, clean off all your parts, no more old grease left in there. <coughs> And then I don't know if I covered it, but the easiest way to clean parts is brake cleaner. Um, get some gloves, spray all the grease off, keep wiping it. That's going to be the easiest way to take care of grease. So when you're cleaning it off, you see how... So if you hold the center and then you can spin the bearing, you want to make sure you get all the grease out of in between here. Get that all clean. So what I do, take the... What I'll do is take the straw uh, on the brake cleaner and spray it in there. Spray all that out. So like I said, you want to kind of spin it around, spray it, spin it around, spray it. Make sure you get all the grease out of this kind of crack here. So next uh, comes the fun part. So you want to take some grease. Actually, you just put it in your hand like this. Grab the bearing, and what you want to do is you want to push grease back into this um, crease here. So easiest way to do that is to grab it, push, spin, push. And you can actually kind of spin uh, the bearing a little bit on your hand. And 
flip it around, do the same for the front. The front's a little bit harder. But what you're looking for is What we're looking for is new grease all the way around here as well as all the way around here. You can definitely put a little bit on the outside, but that's what you're looking for is new grease there. And you kind of spin it to make sure you got grease in there. And I keep going here. And then do the same for the front burn. Again, you're looking for grease all the way around here and here. Give a couple spins. All right, that's good there. Let me clean up. All right, so now we got everything greased. It's time to put it back together. So I'm gonna start with the rear. Now, if you look inside here, it's tapered, and so is the bearing. It's tapered, so the you want to put that in there, so that sits flush, so that the the bearing is made to sit inside that race. Let me take the seal. And you just use a hammer. Um, this is like I said, this one's shot, so it's going in really easy. Basically, you just hammer that back in there so that it's flush with the hub, and then you're good. All right, so my tire doesn't fit in here as good, so I took the tire off so I can put the hub on. That, that just slides on like that. And take your front bearing, slide it in, your washer, and then your castle nut. And then now, what you want to do. So you actually you want to tighten this down as hard as you can what that does is it kind of smushes everything together to make sure that everything's tight and where it should be and then after you get it tightened down back it off and then go until it's just finger tight. You will have to kind of line it up with the hole in the spindle. And then you take your cotter pin. That goes through, and then you bend the tabs out. That will keep this from coming off. And then put the cover on, and you're good to go. Like I said, normally you'd have the tire on this already, but with my setup, I can't get the... I put bigger tires on it when I after I bought it, so the fender's a little bit low. I haven't addressed that yet, so i got to do a little finagling, but that's how you do it.
All right, so, I mean, that's pretty much it. That's how to repack uh, your bearings to make sure that you're ready to go for this season. Also, like I said, you wanna check the tire pressure and check the lights, hook that up to your vehicle, cycle on your blinkers, and just make sure that they work. Um, everything else is good on my trailer, so I can't show any repairs there, but um, like I said, the biggest thing, keep the bearings greased. Um, at least do it once a year, if not um, twice a year, depending on how many miles you're doing. And then for sure, every two years, I would replace um, the bearings and the races. And I forgot one more thing. Make sure that if you do remove the tires, you retorque your lug nuts down to 100 foot pounds. Um, that's something that, regardless, I mean, even on your vehicle, you want to do that, but especially on the trailer, as soon as you take them off, as soon as you take them off, retorque them down uh, to make sure everything's tight and you don't have to worry about it. But, um,. That's pretty much it. If you guys found value in this video, definitely hit subscribe, give me a like. Let me know about any questions that you might have about um, doing basic maintenance on your trailer. Um, like I said, I am a, uh, do do it on a daily basis, so if you have any other questions about your trailer, definitely shoot them my way, or else, yeah, that's really it. Make sure you grease your bearings, and we'll see you next time here on TC Outdoors. See ya.